Hey guys, Dr. J here. I get this question all the time from my female patients. We talk about hormones. Most women think, hey, estrogen and progesterone are gonna be the most dominant female hormones. It's actually not true. Testosterone is the most dominant female hormone by two to five X. And the reason why is when you go look at your Quest Labs, right? You're gonna see your estrogen or your estradiol typically or your progesterone. You think it's bigger because it's measured in PG per ml. And that just PG means a picogram. So a picogram is the decimal place with 12 zeros afterwards. And if you look at testosterone, it's measured in NG per DL. So that means it's nine zeros. So when you see testosterone or like progesterone measured, like at, let's say around ovulation, it's at uh, 15, right? Well, or let's say 150 or 200, right? Well, you gotta move the decimal place to the right three times to make it equal to what you see with testosterone. And so the reason why women think that is because testosterone is measured in nanograms per DL, right? Which is 1000 times less than your estradiol and your progesterone, which is measured in PG per ml, picograms per milliliter. I get this all the time. So testosterone is very important in women. It helps with libido, helps with muscle recovery. It also gives women resiliency against stress. That's one of the benefits that men have is that, that frontal cortex, lots of receptors for testosterone. So it helps with motivation and it helps deal with resiliency under stress. It helps with the cortisol that you get from stress. It brings that back down. Jonathan Gray in the book, um, Dr. Gray in the book, Men Are From Mars, Women Are From Venus, talked about the fact that testosterone is very important in bringing men down from a cortisol response, also with female too, so very important. So I just wanted to bring that to light. It's usually a, a shock for most people because they just think, hey, it's got to be estrogen. It's got to be progesterone, right? But no, it's actually testosterone. And again, like the typical range for that is you're going to see um, a range of about, I want to say uh, 15 to 30 or so in the, I want to say NG per DL side of the fence, 15 to 30 on the total testosterone. And then you're going to see 300 to 1100 or so in the NG per DL. And so men have about anywhere between 10X to 30X more testosterone than women do, right? And so big difference there, um, but women still have two to five X more testosterone than any other hormone they have in their body. And so natural ways to bump it up, eat good protein, eat healthy fats. Um, aromatase is gonna be something that's gonna knock down testosterone in women, right? So excess carbohydrate is not gonna be a good thing for you. It can actually bump up women's testosterone because it's a little bit different physiology than men, but when women go too high in testosterone, that's where they start to develop more prolactin and they can throw off their cycle and they can develop ovarian cysts. So women, it's a fine balance.